None of the attributes of the created being were developed, but the creator, having in mind the ideal or perfect plan which his creation was to express, placed his creation in ideal or perfect surroundings where all the attributes could be brought forth and expressed or brought into outer manifestation. Thus, the Creator did not place his creation upon earth until all the conditions for its perfect development were complete. When these conditions were complete, this being was placed among them and named Lord God. And the location where he was placed was called M-O-O-H, or M, and afterward became known as the Cradle, or Mother. I wish you to observe that I am putting this into words in your language so that you can understand them. You can go on into the details later after you have learned to translate the tablets yourselves. I wish to bring these points out so that they may become the principle from which we shall work in translating these records. I do not wish you to think that I am attempting to change any conclusions you have already formed in other ways or through other thoughts or studies. I am going to ask you to lay them all aside for the time. When you have gone deeper into these studies, you are at liberty to take up all others again, if you wish. I do not wish to influence you in any way. All lessons but the outer, a way of arriving at a conclusion. If the conclusion is not reached or the aim sought is not attained, the lessons become driftwood, extra baggage, nothing.